Hi everybody, um, making another video, uh, I wasn't planning to make one so soon, but there's things I want to share, um, so I might as well just start. <laughs> I'm going to pick up from the last one, I, the last video that I made a week ago, I don't even think it's been a full week yet, but... After I made that video, um, obviously I went back to work, and it's been still difficult. I ended up missing the two following days because of personal issues, um, which I'm not particularly proud of, but... Within those two days, I started thinking to myself, what am I doing? Like, obviously, things... <coughs> things have obviously reached a serious level. Um, that the things at work, as minute as some people may think they are, um, are affecting me... Massively, to the point that it was affecting me when I was coming home. So, uh, I went back to work after those two days, and I have to admit, that was the most horrendous feeling I had walking into an, uh, any place, and <clears throat> I started really thinking, you can't, you can't keep doing this to yourself and one of my girlfriends I happen to be working with she tried to <clears throat> give me strength and give me hope and kind of give that feeling that you can get through this don't don't let things bring you down and that and it just got to the point and that I am like I don't know what to do to the point like to the point that tears were willing up in my eyes and that so <clears throat> excuse me um so I went up and talked with my employer well representative of the temp agency that I worked for and I explained everything what was going on um, very candidly and kind of asked her input and after quite a, a lengthy conversation that we had, I came to the decision that it's best that I go. Um, for me, the environment had become toxic for me. And I had the way that working in that kind of environment and can I do it, and whatever the ramifications come from that, and still bring in the pay that this particular job paid. To me, it wasn't worth it. Um, it really upset me. Because I was really... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Um, I was really disappointed, because I was, I was so hopeful. I was so... I'm excited. I was like, finally. And it didn't work out that way. Now, I wasn't pressured to leave or anything like that by anybody specifically. It was the environment that was being created by a group of individuals. Um, they let me say goodbye to the girls that helped me there which was hard and uh, I was escorted out not like in a bad way or anything but as like a, a form of respect I guess and um, my my path my my road with Fleetwood came to an end um, 
that happened yesterday. I got, um, I got a lot of beautiful support, beautiful comments, messages, com um, what you, everything that you could possibly imagine, um, <clears throat> which touched me deeply actually made me cry a couple times too so but since then I've had like almost two full days to let it all sink in kind of thing and I'm really disappointed I I feel personally that I let my family down and that's my personal feelings. Um, I don't understand why I had to be treated differently. I don't understand why I couldn't get the support from the right, not, no, not the right people, but specific people that could have maybe helped the situation. But what it is is now I am faced with the situation that I gotta go back out there and find a new path for myself. <clears throat> and that prospect scares me, um, especially after the experience I just went through. I'm gonna try as hard as I can to keep me being transgender um, private and I know I know that's almost possible to do but I, today specifically I, f I feel like the first time in my life I don't know what to do um, the first time in my life I don't have some answer or some idea of a resolution or how to handle the situation I happen to be in. <clears throat> and that scares me a little. And I also feel that like I'm free falling and I can't control it. So and it's it's been challenging. Um with references to my transition and all that goes into that, um, me leaving has definitely going to make things or certain steps I need to take or certain things I, I would like to do um, a lot more difficult to achieve now. And that disappoints me. Um, emotionally, um, I'm very numb right now. Uh, there's so many emotions running through my head right now. Um, from everything to how I'm looking at myself. To how I view others. To how I'm feeling at the moment generally. How I view my future. Etc. Etc. And they're all like compounded on top of each other, and it's very overwhelming to try to sort through. I truly wish that when when I was born, or well, when I was made, that my body was in line with the rest of me and that I didn't have to go through what I'm currently going through um, my life would have been completely different um, <laughs> I've had I found myself reflecting upon my past, 
how far I've come in my transition, um, where I would like to be when I'm done, um, physically, emotionally, um, what kind of woman I want to be. Um, one thing I did notice is a lot of people have used uh, terms like you're amazing or you're inspiring or you're strong or things like that and it means a lot to me that these people think that of me but on the same breath it makes me feel very odd because I don't feel I deserve those titles um, but they do have a right to feel how they feel it's just I wish I could appreciate it more like I said I don't feel I deserve those things one thing I did want to do and I hope it's okay but I want for me to thank a few people that helped me get through get through Fleetwood and the whole seven weeks I was there. Um, without them I don't I don't I don't know. I really don't know. <clears throat> I wanna thank Jules and Lulu and Sarah and Shannon. <clears throat> without them Like I said earlier, I don't know. Um, but I, the experience I had with them, working with them, talking to them, has helped me define me a little more. Each one of them are very strong women and have very admirable qualities about them. And I'm honored to be their friend, their sister and to have the support and the love I do from them. Anything they have said or shared with me, I will always hold on to. It makes me sad that the first time in my life I actually had a group of girlfriends, the first time I had to say goodbye to them. Because it wasn't wasn't meant to be and that hurts me <clears throat> sorry <laughs> emotions aren't doing a wonderful thing but now I gotta find my new path I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do I have a interview this coming Monday for a for a position that I'm not entirely thrilled about, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It's been a very hard few weeks. It's been very challenging to be me. And I truly hope that I make that I make the women out there proud and I make the trans community proud. So, for me personally, it's, sorry, when I get emotional, my nose gets ready. <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, I don't know. I don't, I know I have to overcome this. And I, I like I said, I hope I make them all proud. Because I don't just represent me and my family. I have to become stronger and smarter and more confident. And I'm not there yet. And that's obvious. So, I, I'm sorry again, not the most uplifting video. Uh, hopefully <laughs> next one there's more positive feedback and more positive things to speak about um, I think
thank you for watching, and I thank you for the support. And to the girls, whatever ones of you watch us, thank you for everything. You help me more than you'll ever know. I hope everybody has a nice weekend. And they're surrounded by people that they, they're loved. That's important. So, thank you again for watching. And I'll see you whenever I make my newest video.